How do you calculate your body fat percentage and why do you need to know your body fat percentage? Number one, body fat percentage is just a guess. The only way to really know how much body fat you have is to do an autopsy. So you have to die and someone has to cut you open and from there you get the exact reading. There's many other ways of guessing it. Some of them cost a lot of money like DEXA scans and they still don't even come out accurate sometimes. The two favorite methods Papa has to estimate his body fat percentage are Navy method where you just measure your age, weight, the circumference of your neck, and the circumference of your waist if you're a man. You put that into the application and it automatically calculates your body fat percentage. Another easy way of doing it is just by looking at pictures. Now, one tricky thing about looking at your body fat percentage, some people carry their weight very differently. I'll give you an example. Papa carries a lot of his weight on his back. So if I look at myself in my front, my body weight percentage is probably like 4% less than if I then accommodate like the back to him, a lot pudgier from behind. So make sure that you're taking pictures and looking at yourself both in the front and the back because sometimes you got some hidden pudge that you don't realize just by looking in the front of the mirror. It helps you determine your goal weight. How do you want to look? Some people don't want a six pack. Some people just want to look pretty fit or look good in clothes. And I believe that I'm around 28% body fat. So I'm gonna put it at 28% just to be conservative. When I did the Navy calculation, so you just go on to Google and you type in body fat percentage calculator and I think it's the first one that pops up. You're gonna to need to know number one, what's your current body weight? So I measured that this morning after using the bathroom because that's the best time to get the most accurate weight for you. First I put my age, which is 40. Then I put my weight, which was 89.7 kilograms this morning. I put my height, 184 centimeters. Neck circumference, which was 39 centimeters. I just measured it. So, you know, I just do that. Go around my neck, reasonably tight, the thickest part of your neck. And then your waist, once again, just around your belly button. Do the same thing. Make sure you kind of breathe out and relax your stomach. Anyway, it's not gonna be 100%, but you know, you'll be within one or two centimeters. So this is a great way of tracking your progress also over time because sometimes the numbers on the scale don't always reflect the progress that you are making. It was 104 centimeters on the gut. See, it, I hide my weight really well, guys. So when I put those in all together, it came up with 27.5%. So it's very similar to when I was looking at the pictures, what I thought I was. Let's get some numbers up here on the board. 89.7 kg. My estimated body fat percentage, we said was, I'll just put it at 28%. Now, it's gonna allow me to calculate my body weight is minus all the fat. 89.7, and I'm gonna times it by 0.28, 28%. That's 25 kilograms. 25 kilograms of my 89.7 is fat. So I'm gonna subtract that from 89.7. 89.7 minus 25, I'll put the point 0.1 in there, equals 64.6. 64.6 kilograms is my pure lean body weight. So those are my stats now. So now, depending on how I want my body to look, you can refer back to the pictures again, right? Of all those different physiques. I can calculate roughly what weight I need to be to look like that. So let's say I wanna get six pack abs, right? So that's, let's say I'm gonna put it at 12% body fat. So for me, I would take 64.5 and I times it by 1.12, 12% over that weight. So for me to be at 12% body fat, because it's 64.6 kilograms, I'm 0% body fat, I'm dead, right? 72.24 would be my target body weight. So I'm pretty sure that I would have pretty decent abs. I would look really good and lean at that. It's just a really nice method to figure out how much you want to weigh to look a certain physique. 89.7 minus 72.24, 17.46. So I'd have to lose pretty darn close to 20 kg to get a six pack. I'll do a whole nother video, part two, how to calculate how long it'll take me to get to 12% body fat. Hope you guys found that interesting. Uh, once again, a lot of these are just estimates, but it gives you an idea, a starting point. Papa loves you all. Papa approved fitness.